Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bhagirwal. Today I have come up with another interesting video of Salesforce. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create, how to configure bundles in Salesforce CPQ. So let's start it. So this is, I have opened the developer edition org of Salesforce CPQ in which I have opened the products tab. So this is one of the products which I am gonna configure as a bundle product. So what is a bundle product? A bundle product is basically a product which has some sub products under it. So basically uh, there could be some products which are sold as a bundle, like multiple products are sold as a one product. Uh, maybe uh, there is a mobile phone, then there will be charger or earphone. So it is a kind of a bundle product. So you, you are selling the mobile charger and earphone all together. So that's a bundle product. So I'm going to show you how to add the options product on the bundle product basically. So this is a, a, a product copy binding module on the related tab. You can see the options related list. So I'm going to click new. I'm going to search for, let's say, uh, high capacity toner. So this is high capacity toner cartridge cartridge this is another product so i am assigning this product as an option product of the copy binding bundle module okay so number is basically in which order you will be able to see this product on under this bundle product so i am gonna give 10 so it's a good pra practice not to give one two three like that it's a good practice to give 10 20 30 so Let's say if there is any product which I want to show before this product, then I can give probably five or any number between one to 10. So basically nine products I can add before this product. That's why I'm starting from the 10. SKU, you do not have to change. Copy binding module would be your SKU. Then there are options to uh, keep it as selected or required. If you check selected, that means whenever you add this bundle module, this bundle product, this product will be automatically selected under it and if you set it required then it will be required means you cannot deselect it on the edit lines page so for now i am making it as selected and quantity i am giving it as one and i'm saving it so that is one option i have created under this product now one more option i'm creating let's say uh paper something okay printed paper letter okay and number i'm giving it as 20 so that means it will come after the high capacity product which i have configured earlier this product i'm making it as selected and required both means whenever you will select copy binding module product Printing printer paper letter product will also be selected automatically and it will be required means you will not be able to deselect it and quantity I'm giving it as one SKU you do not have to change click save it. So once that is done now let's see it happening how is it going to show on your code. So another tab I have opened the codes tab and uh, this code I have opened here you have to go to edit lines. So edit lines is the console where you can add products. You can see the prices, discounts, and the whole product structure you can see over here. You can add them, deselect them, remove them, whatever. Everything you can do related to products on this edit lines console. So here I'm going to select add product. So this is the listing of our products. So here I'm going to find copy binding module, which was our parent product. I'm going to select it and click select. Once you select it, as you can see over here, the high capacity toner and printer paper letter, whichever options we have provided, they are coming under this product. And the order you can see the high capacity toner coming first, then paper letter is coming second. That That is because we have given the number 10 as high capacity toner and 24 printer paper letter. So that's how you can configure your products 
uh, for a bundle product and you can add options and there are many things you can do you can change the quantity you can put additional prices but we are not going into depth of that so for now i am just showing how to configure the bundle product and add on your quote lines so that's all about this video if you like it please like it and comment on the video and for more videos please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagirwal thank you